is Francis again and today I'll be showing you how to install how to use PIP to install packages or install or upgrade or whatever so at first the best way I could show this is I'll be using one of my projects to um, to do this let's just because I want to show you okay now that that is done I want to show you something in usual Python projects you will see something like this a requirement the txt file that file contains um, whatever dependency that project needs to run whatever dependency it is that project needs to run that's what that file contains now I'll just show you a basic on how to just install or uninstall before I move to this requirements of txt on so if we want to install um, like okay there's flags here we just need to do pip install what okay flags well it's already installed for me but at the end you should see something like successful you you should also see, you should see that soon now if we want to uninstall flags we do pip on install flags it's asking us do we want it to be removed i said yes proceed uninstall successfully now okay okay I will now move over to the requirements.txt file. To be able to use the requirements.txt file, we have to use something like, um, we need to do something, okay. Now this is the file right here. This is the file. To install the dependencies in that file, we'll do pip install dash r. That dash r is very important. That is actually what makes it pick up the file and install it requirements.txt and watch the magic as you can see collecting flags collecting resets as it started um, sequentially first second third that's how it's going to go since right that okay it's not that so but we'll wait for that This whole process is just installation of the dependencies, different files that are needed for that project to run. And we'll just be needing this, we'll need that again. Now as you can see, successfully installed, whatever, you can see that here, what I was mentioning the other time. So, now we have installed all that. If we run the project, it should just run flawlessly. So if I was to Python, um, what was that again? I think, okay. Okay, it, did, it does actually run. It does run. Without, as you can see, there's no error whatsoever. So if I was to uninstall all the files that I installed, you would see that it would give me an error. I'm going to do that now. Or to uninstall, we just use pip on install um, dash r the requirements of txt. And enter. You see, yes, 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 and yes. There are four files there. That is flags. Um, what's the second one? Flags and then um, icon and this. Now, if I was to run the project again, we are going to have errors. Can you see that? No model, no model named flags because I've uninstalled them. Now, to update, since I've uninstalled flags, I need to install it again to show you how to um, update a 
package now to update we need to do something like pip install flags dash u the dash u is the keyword there it means or the upgrade you should have tried but let's see as you can see I already I'm already using the latest of the flags so there's nothing for it to update so that's it whatever commands that works with pip here also works on Linux on Android wherever your Python is pip should always be the same the only difference is for some operating systems pip on its own is not going to work it will give you an error you have to use something like pip3 which will be on my own as you can see both pip3 and pip does work but on some systems pip is not going to work you have to append the 3 to it for it to work and well that's actually all so see you guys later